Now, a lot of you are wondering now, why this guy standing up here? You know, he's old and dirt. I am. But I was left here to bring you a message. Mr. Stokes was an original student activist in 1951 who led a student walkout in his high school uh, in Virginia that led to the Brown versus Board of Ed Supreme Court ruling against segregation. Brown versus Board of Education came about because of the fact that inequality was rampant throughout the United States. There were five cases in Brown, Delaware, Washington, D.C., Clarenton, South Carolina, Topeka, Kansas, and a place called Prince Edward County, Virginia. I represent Prince Edward County, Virginia. It's the only case that was student-led. Now, what effect has Brown had upon our country? How many young ladies in here play any kind of sport at all? Any kind of Now, raise your hands high. No one's going to hurt you. Raise your hands high. Thank you. Are you aware that, that some of those monies and concepts came under Brown called Title what? Title what? Give him a hand. You know, you know your history. All right, man. All right. So to have him here today was twofold. It was a historical event because the kids are studying this in their classes, and it was also to give the kids an idea of the power that they have for change in their lives, that what they can do and the power that they have at this age to get things done. And I think that's the focus of his um, discussion today. Read, either one, that not. Virginia in 1949, per capita expenditure in dollars for the education of a colored child in the state of Virginia, $159 under Plessy versus Ferguson. Virginia in 1949, per capita expenditure in dollars for the education of a white child in the state of Virginia, $569 under Plessy versus Ferguson. Separate but what? I still can't hear you. Separate but what? Ladies and gentlemen, it was never easy. And that's what irritated us. It was never, ever, ever equal. My main message is to inform the young folk of today as the historical databases that uh, we have missed throughout the years and to let them know that if we forget from whence we've come it, we don't always know exactly where we're going in life. And I want to let them be educated in regards to the Jim Crow era um, before Dr. King and not that I'm demeaning him in any way, but enlightening them as to what really started this movement and how it has affected each one of them individually and collectively. During that time, under Professor Ferguson, by law, we had to move to the back of the bus. It was the law of the land, but only certain states abided by that law. And they were the southern states most of the time. There were a debarkation line called the Mason what? Somebody said it. Mason Dixon line. And we're gonna see how that line affected the lives of colored people. Okay, you have you have three choices. Three choices. <laughs> you have three choices. Uh, get off. Stand, stand. Stand. Oh, okay, oh, get off the bus. Get off the bus, stand. Oh, uh, if you get off oh. Uh, you can sleep in the station because, see, the station is closing. This is the last bus out. Probably just stand. <laughs> He's going to stand. Give him a hand, please. There's prejudice out there, and like this kind of shows you, like not against like a race of people, but maybe like a specific group of belief, and like it just like lets you know like how it was back then and how it kind of still is today. And it was a real honor to have him come and speak to us today, um, especially for someone who's done so much for like this country and a specific uh, group of people. It was just like it was a real honor to have him here. I teach about this, and it gets a little dry, and have him actually give the um, feeling of what it's like to live through Jim Crow was just moving, and I think our students truly um, benefited from this. Look not at the face, not the color of a person's skin, but look at that heart, which is deep within. For the skin and the face will one day fade away, but the deeds of good person will never decay. My time is up. Thank you for